Hi guys, I'm Joe the Multiboxer, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Star Wars The Old Republic with IS Boxer. So, before we begin, go to the Inner Space menu and make sure that you have Star Wars The Old Republic in the list. So if you do not, then use Add Game to put it there. You can drag the icon straight from your desktop into the Add Game window. Click OK. And now in the Inner Space menu, Star Wars The Old Republic and the default profile for it. So, once that's done, go into the Wizards menu in IS Boxer and select Quick Setup Wizard. Which game would you like to set up? Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, on the next page, you pick your characters for this team. Uh, make sure that in the Game and Game Profile boxes, you pick Star Wars The Old Republic and the profile for it. Um, and then we need to pick names for the characters. Now in IS Boxer, you don't have to use the actual character name. Um, for Star Wars, there's no um, macros that IS Boxer can set up for the game. Um, for other games, IS Boxer can do um, like automatically follow and assist and invite uh, macros. Um, so for World of Warcraft, it uses the actual character name. For Star Wars, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to use SWTOR 1, 2, and 3 as my character names. So there's 1, 2, and 3. Um, click Next. Choose a name for your team. Keep it simple. Something that you're going to recognize as being this team. Um, SW Tor Trio. That's my three characters. Click Next. On the next page, um, this is the window layout style. And there's some options over here um, and some uh, styles in this drop down box. Now you can pick from a range of styles that it uh, generates based on the number of characters you're playing and your monitor setup. Um, if you want uh, different, if you want it to line up on the top or left or right instead of the bottom, you can use the preferred edge option. Um, for example, here's the top, and then they line up on the top instead of on the bottom. Now I'm going to use the bottom option and go back down to this uh, screen layout. So I'm going to have one main window here, and whichever two windows are not the main window, they'll be down here in one and two of these three uh, slots there. So click next. And this is the CPU strategy. Um, this, if you if you want to change it later on, you can just go up on into the Wizards menu and uh, select CPU strategy wizard. Um, there's also one for the window layout if you want to change that later. Um, so by default, this is going to select something for you that um, should have pretty smooth, uh, decent performance. Um, so mine picked uh, select all CPUs with every window by default, and it shows me that it's using three. Uh, three slots on each of the cores. And then each slot it shows eight, a slot as your game instance or your character. Um, so it's going to use all eight of my CPU cores for uh, the three characters. So that's kind of how that shows there. Um, and you see the round robin balancing. In my case, um, it would not use all eight of my CPU cores because round robin um, tries to split it up so that each game instance has its own CPU core. Or with hyper threading, it would use two. Um, so I'm going to keep it on select all CPUs with every window. It's going to be pretty reliable. Um, so if you're having trouble, probably use that one. Um, so foreground and background maximum frame rate, uh, 60 foreground and 30 background. Um, if you're having a little bit of performance issues, you might try lowering the background frame rate, things like that. Uh, this is how I'm going to leave mine. That's exactly how the default was. Uh, click Next. So on this last page of the wizard, this is where you set up your hotkeys that you'll press. And uh, in the game key bindings tab, this is the hotkeys that the game has set up in the key bindings screen. Um, so um, the game does not have a follow or assist, but we, or I mean it does have a default assist, but we're going to want to change that um, to something that's not Alt-T. Now I'm going to use F7 for follow target. I'm going to have to set that up in the game. And I'm going to use F8 for assist, and we'll set that up in the game as well. There's no interact with target hotkey in Star Wars, so don't worry about that one. There is a focus target, um, but we're not going to use that in the default setup. So the targeting table here, this is uh, a button each guy can press in the game to target the others. Now Star Wars is a little bit of a special case here. For most games, we can use this autofill button and just invite your characters um, left to right and then uh, accept the group uh, left to right. You can expect uh, to fill in this table left to right, F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, but Star Wars doesn't work like that. So you have to actually log in the game, you have to press the keys and figure out which 
key corresponds to which guy in each different window because it's not what it looks like to me when it's in the game. It's not uh, the standard order that works for most games. So you might have to actually finish the wizard with this not filled in and then come back um, and run the wizard again later. Um, but I've already got that figured out just to make this video a little bit shorter. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in um, the table here. This is exactly backwards from what normally is in every other game. And that just happens to be that way for my team. Um, but it'll be different di depending on which characters you have um, logged in, things like that. Just because the way the game orders things, orders the party window. So, um, hotkeys. Now that we've completed the game key bindings, that's going to match exactly what it's set up for in the game. Um, and over here, the, these do not need to match what's in the game. Follow me. If I want my guys to follow me, I will press Alt-F. Um, if I want them to assist, I'll press Alt-A. Um, you can set these to more convenient hotkeys for you. That's fine. Um, toggle Broadcasting Mode, Shift-Alt-R. You will be using that, so if you want it something more convenient, go for it. Um, toggle key maps and menu hotkeys. That's uh, that includes the one through equals that's down here by default. So if you want to toggle that behavior on and off, um, Shift Alt M is the default hotkey, and the in-game IS boss or GUI toggle hotkey, Control Shift Alt G. Um, we're going to use that uh, to set up part of this menu in the game. I'll get to that later. If you have an Alt-GR key on your keyboard, I'm an American, I have a U.S. English keyboard, I do not have an Alt-GR key, but maybe you're German, maybe you're, I don't know, French, uh, anything, anybody that has an Alt-GR key, make sure this is checked, um, and that way IS Boxer won't set up anything by default that will um, block any of your Alt-GR keys. And finally down here, uh, standard MMO combat broadcasting 1 through equals. If you don't want it to broadcast 1 through equals when you press those hotkeys, um, then just uncheck this box. Um, but for the most part, most people are going to want that. Um, so you can have the option of using a transparent overlay for your action bar um, that you place right over your action bar. You'll line it up. And if you click on it, it'll um, do the same thing in each of the windows. Or if you use the hotkey, it'll do the same thing. So if you're a clicker, use the menu. Otherwise, totally up to you whether you want the invisible key maps option or, or the, the overlay. I do recommend using the overlay for most people. So click Finish. That's pretty much it. And I'll show you one other option real quick in your character set. There's an option here, Mute Background Game Window Audio and Unmute Foreground Window Audio. So if you only want to hear one window at a time, check that box. Um, otherwise, you might hear it sounds kind of like an echo or whatever if um, you hear more than one window at a time, sometimes doing the same exact sounds. Um, and if you want, you can hide IS Boxer's frame rate indicator that's otherwise going to be in the top left of your window. Just check that box. Um, but I like it there. And once you're done setting that up, go to File and choose Export. Interspace configuration exported successfully good. We're not going to do anything else to our configuration. We just want to try it out, make sure it works. Um, go down to Interspace menu and under IS Boxer Character Sets, select your team here to launch it. Here we go. So when you're logging in, make sure you check, remember this account box because IS Boxer will keep your account name stored for each of your characters. And uh, the first time you log in through the launcher, it might surprise you uh, that IS Boxer disables the streaming uh, system that's built into the game and into the launcher. Now, it's going to make you download the entire game if you haven't downloaded it um, before you can multibox this game uh, because the streaming, it will not work correctly while multiboxing. So if you don't have the whole game already downloaded, it will make you finish downloading it before you can click play. Uh, and I will click play now. So after the first game window comes up, um, that's when the next launcher will come up for us to log in the next one. So I've already got my account names filled in and, and um, remember this account is checked, um, but the first time you log in, expect to have to put in your account name, um, but after that it'll keep it saved for each of your guys. There's one of the windows. 
Window 2 is ready. Here comes the third launcher. There's the third window. Now while that third window finishes loading, I'll tell you about this a little bit. This window comes up and it shows you uh, this. Uh, you might be curious about these see-through green squares. That's the standard menu we talked about during the wizard. And this explains to you how you can resize that and how you can move that. Um, it says to resize it, you go through the ISBoxer toolkit into the menu section, and I'll have to show you that in a minute. Um, and that if you want to move or hide this menu, you hit Control Shift Alt G to bring up the ISBox control panel. And again, we talked about that during the wizard. Um, so for now, I'll close this window. I'm going to leave that menu right there in the way. Um, and we'll do that once we get into the game. So turn on broadcasting. I press Shift Alt R, but you can use this toggle button right here. Um, and you can also move that wherever you like um, by opening the ISBox control panel. Um, but for now, I'll leave it right there and click play. All right, so I got my guys in the game. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is invite uh, my guys into the same group. And go into each of the windows and accept the invite. Um, so now uh, my party's all made here. And we'll go set the key bindings that we need for this game. The follow and assist, preferences, and under key bindings, so first, under targeting, um, go down about the A far. Let's see here. Acquire targets target is the key we're looking for. That's that's the assist key. Now by default, it's Alt T, but during the wizard, I set it to F8. Um, so just click here, set the alternate keystroke to F8. Um, so now they can press F8 to assist who they have targeted. And under movement. Right at the top is follow target, which has no default hotkey. During the wizard, we set it to F7. So click that, press your desired key, F7. Um, that's it. Now the hotkeys should match what we configured in IS Boxer. And I can turn off broadcasting. And um, here we go. So I'll test that out. If I press Alt F, my guys should follow me. Alt F, there we go. Run around with me, guys. Um, and if I go to any of the windows, they should follow that, whichever window I'm in at the time. So, here we go. I think they're all following the right guy. It looks like one of them might be following... Yeah, he's following the wrong guy. Wow. Okay, so if you've got them following the wrong guy, um, it confused me by this order here, and I look at this, and I'm like, this must be F2, and this must be F3. But uh, F3 is this guy, and F2 is this guy. So back in IS Boxer, I can fix that. You go into the slot that has the wrong keys, and click it here. Um, so I select the one, because my first guy is the guy that follows the wrong guy. And under Variable Keystrokes, you see the same list. Target slot 1, target slot 2, target slot 3. So target slot 1, because he is slot 1, that's always going to be F1 to target yourself. Target slot 2, in this case, um, that's, um, let's see here, this guy, and he needs to press F2 to target slot 2, and F3 to target slot 3, and I've got that backwards here, 2, F3. Once you change it, export to interspace again, and now when I go back, and make him follow. They should target and follow the right guy. Good. Follow me. All right, you can see on my other screens uh, that they both have the right guy targeted and following. And uh, I'll show assist real quick. You gotta dance while they follow. All right. Um, so I target something, and I should be able to pick up that same target with all my guys by pressing Alt T. 
So I'll do that now. Uh, no, not Alt-T. Alt-A. There we go. And so in this window, I can see that he targeted. In this window, we'll spin him around, and he has the Imperial Medical Droid targeted. Um, so that's success. And uh, I can show you killing something real quickly. I'll run up to this. Target it first with all my guys. And then let's see what do I have to do? Saber strike, shock, and thrash. Okay, this does have a range, so I'll run up and I will shock this guy. Boom! That was fast. Whoops, there's another one. Target, Alt A to assist, shock. So my guys helped me kill that, and that worked. So that's basically how you do this, um, and this game, because it doesn't have an uh, interact with target hotkey, in order to interact with, um, like say, a droid or whatever, you have to right click on them, so you might have to go to each window, um, or if you're lucky, then you can line up your guys and use broadcasting mode, shift alt r, and if you line up the cursor, you can see the cursor change on each of the screens. If you get it just right, then you can right click and you can um, access the guys in more than one window at a time. Um, but the camera in this game might be a little difficult um, for that to happen very reliably. Uh, so that's basically it. I've covered follow, assist, uh, oh, the menu. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, Control Shift Alt G. Um, and um, so, first of all, drag it down. And you'll see that it does not line up. The bar extends past my um, action bar here. So I know that in IS Boxer, I'm going to have to resize that. Here's how to do that. Go into IS Boxer, under Menus, and select Standard. Um, and then down here, we're going to have to change the menu template, which is where the button sizes and the margin, that's the space between the buttons, where that's set up. So um, I've already checked mine and for my setup, it's going to need 39 by 39 buttons and no margin between the buttons. It might be a little bit different for you, but once you um, once you try this out, you put a number that you think is going to fit, um, you go and you export, um, and then immediately in the game, it's going to update um, the size of that menu. So just try it again, um, and it might take a little bit of trial and error, or you can count pixels if you like from a screenshot. But there we go, um, standard menu and once you position it in the right spot, um, my action bar is the same spot in every window so I'm just going to click sync um, which puts the menu in that same spot in every window and then with the IS box control panel up you have this save all menu positions button. Now make sure to click that so the next time you launch your team that menu is right there above the action bar and uh, of course if you're pressing buttons you see it light up a little bit um, right over the bar. You can hover over and click and it'll do that in each of the windows. So that, that, uh, that's how to play Star Wars The Old Republic um, with IS Boxer and uh, pretty much everything you should need to do in the game. Um, so thanks guys. Have fun multiboxing Star Wars The Old Republic with IS Boxer. If you need help, come down to the IS Boxer chat room or the isboxer.com forums and uh, we'll get you started. Thanks, guys.